Neutralization. By definition, it means to render something ineffective or harmless by applying an opposite force or effect. So it could mean to kill someone you really don't like, or it could mean when an acid and a base react to create a neutral solution. Now first you need to know some stuff about acids, bases, and neutralization. The definition of an acid is basically anything that donates a proton, so they contain the hydrogen ion, which has a positive charge, and a base is anything that accepts a proton, so they contain the hydroxide ion, which has a negative charge. And in chemistry, when something is neutral, it most of the time means something that has around a number 7 on the pH scale. And so an acid solution has a number smaller than 7, and an alkaline solution has a number bigger than 7. Some acids include hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, ethanoic acid, citric acid, and carbonic acid. And some alkalis include sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, and ammonia. Now, in neutralizations, if an acid and an alkali or base react, they make salt and water because the hydrogen ion from the acid combines with the hydroxide ions from the alkali to make two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen, which is water. But this is not always the case. There are neutralizations where acids react with a metal, which then also creates a salt, but then hydrogen instead of water. And an acid can also react with a carbonate to form salt, water, and carbon dioxide. Well, how does neutralization affect our everyday lives? Do they help us in any way? Well, in our everyday lives, we actually see pretty many neutralizations going on. Like when a bee stings on the skin. It produces a mixture of acidic venom and baking soda is applied on the skin for relief. Therefore, neutralization takes place. Wasp stings, on the other hand, is basic, as in it's alkaline, and vinegar is used for relief on wasp stings. When someone suffers from a heartburn, some antacids are given to eat so that neutralization can take place in the stomach of the patient. Stomach has hydrochloric acid in it, whereas a popular antacid is milk of magnesia, which contains MgOH2. In energy industry, power stations burn fossil fuels, such as coal, to produce electricity. The burning fossil fuels will liberate sulfur dioxide gas as an acidic pollutant in the air. Hence, power stations treat this acidic gas using powdered lime CaO or limestone CaCO3 to neutralize it so that air pollution can be prevented. Other types of neutralizations in real life can be, well, when plants don't grow well in acidic soil. Lime fertilizers such as powdered lime CaO or limestone CaCO3 or ashes of burnt wood are added to the soil to neutralize its acidity. Also, shampoos are mild alkaline which causes small scales on each of our hairs, which makes our hair unmanageable, well, rough. Hair conditioners are mildly acidic. When used, the acidity in the hair conditioner will neutralize the alkali from the shampoo and cause the scales to close up. So yeah, neutralization is something you can see in real life and not just some boring thing you learn in chemistry class. It can help you understand why and how a heartburn happens and how to treat it. Without knowing about neutralization, you wouldn't be able to make your hair silky after using shampoo. Pollution and acid rain would kill your trees in your garden, and you definitely wouldn't have cheap, plentiful, healthy food from fields if it weren't for people figuring out neutralization and applying it onto their farms.